so uh, what we're going to try and do is film the rest of our virtual nature walk out here at Sesqui and then we're going to post that video to you guys. So um, the next thing that we're going to show you, we've come a little ways down the boardwalk um, on our Jackson Creek Nature Trail. And uh, uh, what, one thing I was mentioning is, so we got to see the frog. That was really cool. Um, but a lot of the wildlife in the park um, are not out during the day when we are, and that's because they're nocturnal. So they're typically sleeping during the day, and they come out at night. So when you come out on a nature walk during the day, uh, you may get to see a lot of cool birds um, and some squirrels and probably a lot of really cool insects um, and maybe some reptiles and amphibians. Um, and one reptile in particular I have brought as a guest um, a star guest today to show you guys and um, her name is Gypsy and I'm going to get her out of her little uh, carrier I have her in at the moment which she'll be thrilled about and Gypsy <clears throat> as you can see is a turtle um, she's actually an eastern box turtle uh, which are native to South Carolina and native right here on the park um, Gypsy was brought to us um, because she had been a pet and um, they were ready to not have her as a pet anymore and she needed a home because um, once you take a box turtle out of the wild you have to return them back to where they came from originally otherwise they will try and find their way home and as you can imagine um, box turtles have a lot of obstacles they don't move very fast they have a lot of predators um, and also vehicles um, hit turtles quite a bit on the road and so most of the turtles, um, if they do try and return to their uh, home territory, do not make it. Um, but they do have a few adaptations um, for survival, and the biggest one is obviously their shell. Um, they have a great camouflage pattern that hides them in the woods. If I were to set her down in the woods somewhere out here, we would probably lose her in about two seconds um, because she blends in so well with her environment. Um, and also, she has a very special shell. Um, her shell is different than a lot of other turtles. Um, it's got a hinge right here, um, and it will actually close up, and she can completely hide herself inside her shell, which is where she gets the name box turtle. Um, you'll notice she's got some pretty big, sharp claws. Um, they use those to dig in the ground. In fact, box turtles, when they're young, will spend up to several years underground um, before they, um, they come out and live on land. And um, gypsies also, or eastern box turtles, are also omnivores, which means they eat plants and animals. Um, so she'll eat just about anything she can get. Uh, slugs, snails, worms, dandelions, mushrooms, um, berries. So a lot of plants and little bugs and things. Um, they don't have teeth. They lay eggs. They're cold-blooded, and they do hibernate, or they're an ectotherm, um, but they do hibernate. So she will burrow down into the ground in the colder months and uh, stay warm and then come back out in the spring. Um, so that is our box turtle gypsy. Um, one of the probably most interesting facts about box turtles is they are known for living a very long time. Um, some scientists will tell you box turtles can live for 25, 30 years. Some say 50. Some people will argue that a box turtle can live for a hundred years. Um, so we're not real sure how old Gypsy is. It's hard to tell, um, but we know she's a mature um, adult box turtle. And this is average size. She's not gonna get any bigger. Um, this is her average size. So that's full grown. All right, say bye Gypsy.